Although the government doesn't begin collecting data for the census until 2020, there's one possible question that has some worried. CBS 4 Santiago Caicedo spoke with activists in Valley residents and learned that asking someone's citizenship status could make some people less inclined to complete the census. Local Valley and national immigration and Latino organizations are concerned about the next U.S. Census possibly asking people about their citizenship status. We don't want people to be scared from being counted. Arturo Vargas is executive director of the National Association of Latino Elected Officials. He also sits on the Census Bureau's advisory committee. Vargas and local Valley groups are making sure everyone is counted for. Que sea con privacidad, con seguridad de privacidad. Ramona Casas from advocacy group Arise says that people, especially those who are undocumented, won't trust census data collectors and should have privacy. It's been 70 years since census takers asked people if they were U.S. citizens. Now under the Trump administration, the Justice Department wants to reinstate the question because they say it would better enforce the Voting Rights Act of 1965. A complete census is essential to actually enforce the Voting Rights Act. In December, the Justice Department wrote a letter to the Census Bureau saying it needed a complete count of the citizen voting age population so that new districts with large minority populations would have a better chance to elect the representative in Congress that they prefer. When there's so much hostility towards immigrants, for the government to be asking everybody, are you a citizen, yes or no, it's going to scare people away. And it's in colonias like this one, Indian Hills and Mercedes, and colonias across the valley where activists are concerned that people are just not going to answer the census. Many people didn't want their faces shown on camera, but equally disagreed with the citizenship question. This man says that everyone has the fear of being deported, even himself. As a person with asylum, he says he can be deported for previous crimes he's committed. This woman says that with how things are now, she wouldn't want to complete the census. Advocacy groups say that not counting everyone will make them invisible to the government when it's time to allocate funding for school, medical care, and infrastructure projects. In Mercedes, with Complete Valley coverage, Santiago Caicedo, CBS4 Valley at 6.